These are 23 tips you absolutely need to know for Madden 23. Number one, get the ball out quick. The pass rush has really turned up in Madden lately, and you do not want to be holding on to the ball for too long because you will take a lot of sacks and take a lot of hits with your QBs, which leads to interceptions. You want to get the ball out quick. If your checkdowns are open, you want to take them. You do not want to be waiting for the deep route over and over like years past, because if you do, you are going to get sacked a lot. Number two, do not hold down the sprint button the whole time you're running the ball. Now, the sprint button is the R2 or the right trigger button, but you do not want to hold this until you get into the second level of the defense. When you first get the ball with your running back, you want to just maneuver through and try to find the running lane because if you hold the sprint button too early, the defense will block shed a lot quicker and that will result in you not getting a lot of yards running the ball. You want to hit the sprint button right here. Once you're in the clear, you're in the second level and you're trying to pull away. Number three, use the new cutting mechanic. When you get the ball and you see a cutback lane, you can use the left trigger or L2 button, do a hard plant with your running back so that you can attack the hole quickly before it closes. You can see right here with Mixon, we hit the left trigger. He hard plants and we're able to steer him right through this open running lane. And this results in us getting a huge gain, even a touchdown. Also in the open field, if you tap this button lightly, it'll help you avoid user defenders as they'll run right past you quickly as you do a little quick stop. And then you can sprint quickly into the opposite direction. Before we continue on, I want to let you know, I dropped the best Madden tips all year long so that you're up to date with the game. So if you don't want to miss out on any of these important videos, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on. Number four, the best playbooks to use. Now I did an entire standalone video on this, which I'll link below in the description. But for right here, let me give you a couple good ones. On offense, you want to check out the Lions playbook. It's the most balanced in the entire game. It has all of the best shotgun formations for the most part that you would want to use. And it also has a bunch of really good under center formations as well. On defense, you want to use the Chiefs playbook, another very balanced playbook with good nickel formations. It also has a combination of three, four and four, three. And it has a lot of good stuff like dollar and dime as well. Number five, the best defense in the game. Speaking of the Chiefs playbook, we're going to look at the formation 4-3 even 6-1. This is probably the best defense right now and you want to use the play Sam Will Blitz. All you have to do is crash your defensive line down, which is left on the D-pad, down on the right stick, and you'll be able to bring some really easy pressure with this if they do not leave extra guys in the block. This is a very hard formation to block pressure out of, so it's going to be good versus the pass, but this is also a good formation at containing the run. That's why it's so good. So you can do a lot of things with pressure here. You can stop the run you just want to make sure that you're getting out and you're covering the guy that's not manned up that's your responsibility but you're going to bring great pressure now i did an entire breakdown of this entire defense it's almost like a mini ebook on my patreon page where i break down the most advanced and high level madden strategies to help you dominate all of your opponents if you're interested in checking that out the link will be below in the pinned comment number six the best abilities so at the main menu you want to go to the superstar x factor screen you want to look through and familiarize yourself with a lot of these abilities but the most important ones for a quarterback are going to typically be something like gunslinger or pass lead elite or set feet lead because these will give you faster throwing animations to help you versus pass rush for running backs you want to look at stuff like bruiser or arm bar as those will help you break tackles and for receivers you want to look at route technician which will help versus man and you want to look at apprentice abilities because they give you extra routes for pass rushers you want to look at guys that have edge threat because they're going to shed blocks much quicker and for the secondary look for things like pick artist and acrobat that'll help you get more interceptions number seven leave a man beating route on every play people love running man defense so you need routes that can beat it you can see jerry judy here is on what's called a zig route some plays have this route stock and you can see this absolutely torches man coverage but you can add this route to any play with your hot routes by pressing the wire triangle button selecting the receiver and then you choose the zig option with your joystick and you can see we've now put Cortland sutton on this zig so we want to leave some type of a route like this on every play to beat man defense if they throw it at us you can also use routes like slants for example so you can see with our hot routes here we just put the middle receiver here on a slant and he's going to do a pretty good job consistently of beating his man and using tight end drags is also another good way to beat man and you can also pull this up on your hot route menu and you can see he's going to get good separation pretty consistently and pick up yards number eight how to attack zone one of the best concepts to attack zone coverage is verticals now you would like to do this out of a trip set where you have three receivers on one side of the field because this is going to attack the two most popular zone coverages you'll see against a cover three this little seam streak is going to be open because that's one of the weaknesses of a cover three and it's a very easy pass. The crossing route here over the middle can also get open if you time it right, but it is a little bit of a riskier throw. 
You also want to go ahead and put your tight end in this case in a drag because that'll help you if they do throw man defense at you. But drags also will do a good job at getting underneath zone if they're not shading their defense down. Now, if they use a cover two, which is the other popular zone coverage, what you're going to do here is attack the outside receiver right as he's in between the cornerback and the safety for a very big game. And once again, don't forget about the drag. If they don't adjust to this, the drag will do a good job at dinking and dunking underneath. Number nine, how to double team a pass rusher. A lot of teams have one guy that's a really good pass rusher. And if you you don't double team him you're gonna get in trouble so right here we're not gonna double team nick bosa and this is what happens a lot he gets an instant win off the edge and you get sacked now to double team him you want to press the lb or l1 button you want to press down on the right joystick and then this little d2 icon is going to pop up which you can then move with your left joystick place it on the player you want to double team and then you hit the a button on xbox or the x button on playstation you can see now they do a good job at double teaming him getting some extra bodies on him and that allows you to be able to get a pass off instead of letting him just instantly get to you so make sure you're using this to help buy you more time in the pocket number 10 how to slide with the qb very important to do this because qbs fumble a lot in med so when you're running and you want to slide you want to tap the x button on xbox or the square button on playstation make sure you give yourself enough room don't get too close to the defenders you slide and you protect the ball you can do this with regular players as well you can give yourself up if you're trying to avoid a big hit you just tap the same button and they'll lay down number 11 depth chart specialty positions when you're at your depth chart if you scroll to the back of it you have some special positions like slot wide receiver for example some people like putting their best receiver in the slot so we can go here and if we want to do that we could put justin jefferson here and he'll always be in the slot on any play we call and there's other positions like slot cornerback as well if you want to do this to combat that you can go ahead and put your best cornerback and have him always in the slot as well number 12 the best run plays so if we scroll over to concept in our playbook with the rb or r1 button and then we choose run then we're gonna also scroll over to what's called the outside zone and we want to look at any play in our playbook that has the word stretch in it stretch runs are some of the best runs in the game for under center because they are very easy to break to the outside for big gains they usually provide pretty good running lanes they also provide cutback lanes like this so you can cut back to the middle to pick up big yards as well the other run we want to look at is inside zone but only for shotgun we don't want to run this under center so much but in shotgun this is going to be one of your best runs this is also a run that provides really good running lanes and because it's out of shotgun a lot of times the defense does not expect you to run and a lot of people struggle to stop this and it can really result in some big gains number 13 zone drop adjustments so right here i'm going to show you an example of something that's hard to stop on the short side of the field if you have a corner and a streak most zone coverages are going to struggle because the outside corner is typically going to try to play the streak and it's going to leave the corner wide open now you have this curl flat defender in a cover three for example he's only going to drop so far back because he has to also worry about the flat but you can change this in your coaching adjustments at the play call screen you can scroll down and you will see that you have zone drops for different types of zones you've got them for regular flats which are the light blue zones you've got curl flats which are those purple zones and you've got hooks which are the yellow zones in the middle so if we wanted to call a cover three and we wanted help stopping a corner we could put our curl flats on 25 or 30 yards now something else we also want to do is just manually slide him out a couple of yards because sometimes they do a bad job at getting to the sidelines so we want to slide him out to help a little bit and you'll notice now that the same concept that we've run he's not going to be open the guy's going to be there for a swat or we could click on and make a pick now, if we want to do this out of a cover two, instead, we would just go to our regular flats and not our curl flats, and we would put those on 30 or 25, and we can get the same result this way. He's going to drop back and play more towards the corner, but keep in mind, this is going to leave the shallow flats wide open, but if it's more of a long yard situation, you're not worried about those flats being open. Instead, you're taking away the corner and you're getting an interception. Number 14, other important coaching adjustments. On offense, a very important coaching adjustment is your ball carry. You want to put this on conservative late in games or if it's late at the end of the half or if you just don't want to fumble at all, you're very rarely going to fumble if you put this on conservative, but it's really important when you're trying to close out games. And on defense, a very important coaching adjustment is the option defense. You want to put this on conservative as well because a lot of people like to run read options with guys like Lamar Jackson. And if you don't put this on conservative, they'll never play the QB and they'll pop off big yards. Number 15, how to shade your defense this is a very important tool that a lot of people don't use so right here we're in a cover three but pretty much any zone coverage like we've looked at earlier in this video it's gonna leave some of the shallow stuff open like drags or routes to the flats and people always say that they struggle to stop these even right here in this clip you're gonna see he played it okay but we're still able to pick up five yards in the flats if we want to take away the flats and the drags we could shade underneath by pressing wire triangle and then down on the right stick that's
that is going to be our underneath coverage. It's going to turn our curl flats into hard flats and our hook curls are going to play more aggressive. So the deep sideline will be more open. But if we're just worried about somebody spamming flat routes or drag routes, this is a good adjustment to throw at them because now they're going to rally down and they're not going to let you pick up big yards. So you can see here, look how much different this plays. Now we're getting a potential pick six because we told them to play down. You can also shade in man defense. A popular thing to do is to shade over the top if you're worried about streaks or posts getting open, especially maybe it's late in the half or late in a game or a big down. You press Y or triangle and then you select the over top adjustment, which is up on the right stick, and that'll make them play over top and protect deep. You can also shade to the outside if you're worried about corner routes by pressing Y or triangle and then right on the right stick. If you're worried about routes going to the middle like slants, you can shade inside. You can shade any which way and they will play them better. Number 16, using a safety at linebacker. This is really important for your user defender because safeties simply are easier to move around and they get better animations than linebackers do. So if you're in a nickel, a dime, a dollar, any of those type of pass sets, you press your substitution button, which for me is the Y button, and then you can scroll around all of your players. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take one of our linebackers out. We're going to take out Jerome Baker and we're going to put in Jones here because Jones is faster. He's got better change of direction and he can jump higher. That's just something that exists in Madden and that allows us to cover a lot more ground with our user we can take a now we're peeling back on the b now we're stopping and taking x and then when we go for the pick he jumps up in the air and that's something that linebackers just will not do number 17 how to stop a scrambling quarterback something that everybody struggles with if you don't make any adjustments a lot of times you'll get an opportunity like this with a fast qb to break the pocket and get a huge gain a good way to stop this is using qb contain all you have to do is press the rb or r1 button twice and that's going to put your outside rushers in contains now they're not going to rush the passer as well but if you're worried about someone just rolling out mindlessly, they're going to be there to stop it every time. You can also use a QB spy. So you might want to go to one of your faster linebackers. You get on him, you press the A or X button, and then the QB spy assignment is left on the right stick. Now he's going to spy the QB and follow him. So your pass rush still stays intact, but you can see he's getting out there and he's meeting the QB and not letting him get yard. Number 18, pass and run commit. So let's look at the run commit first. If we're so sure that someone's going to run the ball, especially up the middle, we can hit the RB or R1 button button and we can guess play run up the middle by pressing down on the right stick and if we guess right a good amount of the time this is going to blow up the run it's really useful on the goal line or in a situation where you're very sure they're going to run but you don't want to use this too much because if your opponent catches on to you run committing they can pass and if you run commit versus the pass you're giving up a touchdown now pass committing is the opposite if you really think they're going to pass or especially if they're going to play action you want to do rb or r1 and then up on the right stick this is going to allow your defense to not get faked out by the play action and your pass rushers are going to remain strong to get to the QB. This one isn't as risky as the run commit, but if they do run the ball versus a pass commit, they will get better run blocking. They're probably going to get yards, but it's not going to be an automatic touchdown. Number 19, use the QB sneak. Every playbook has a goal line formation. You click on the goal line and you click QB sneak. This is the best short yardage play in the game. If you need half a yard, you need one yard. If you got a couple downs to get it, this is going to be pretty much automatic every time, unless you're facing a really good player that knows how to stop it but the average player or the computer will never stop the QB sneak from being successful. Number 20, the jailbreak screen. The jailbreak screen is actually really good this year versus heavy blitzers. You usually can find them in most playbooks in a five wide formation or other shotgun formations. This is useful versus people that like to all out blitz, which is very popular, especially online. You can keep this in your back pocket and pull it out at the right time. And it's usually not expected and it can go for a touchdown. Again, you want to use this versus heavy blitzers that do it every play. And you can just see just how wide open this is for a free touchdown. Number 21, how to keep longer field goals so right here we're backed up for a 59 yard field goal and we're not going to make any adjustments we're just going to kick it as far as we can on the power meter with a guy that has really good kick power and you're going to see this ball is going to come up pretty significantly short now to kick it longer you use the left joystick which you use to aim your kick but you can also hold the left joystick all the way down and that's going to change the kick arc of your kick and allow it to go further now you're going to see that we're going to easily be able to hit this 59 yard field goal by just using that small adjustment Look how much farther the ball travels. Number 22, how to return kicks. Kick returns have gotten a little bit easier as of late, but what you want to do is stay in the middle. You don't want to hold the sprint button. You want to let things develop, and then you want to attack it when you see an open hole. Much like the running tip we covered much earlier in the video, you want to be patient and let it develop. This is what you want to do. Just stay in the middle. Don't run straight to the outside. Stay in the middle. Let the blocks develop. Once you see the lane, then you take it, and you will have a much higher success on returning kicks for touchdowns or just for big yards in general. 
general. Number 23, an important setting you need to use. On the main menu, scroll over to the gear icon and you want to click on game options. This is a very important setting that a lot of people don't know about. You want to scroll down and the setting we're going to be looking for is the defensive heat seeker assist. Make sure this is toggled to on. This will help you get tackles in the open field a lot better. You have no idea just how much this helps and makes tackling easier. So make sure it's on. Now that you've got these tips under your belt, you're halfway there. The next step is learning the more advanced stuff and you can check that video out right here on the screen.